Welcome to Superstructures. In today's episode, we're going to explore the fascinating world of Air Force One, the official aircraft of the President of the United States. Prepare to be amazed by the extraordinary features that make Air Force One truly exceptional. This remarkable aircraft is like a flying fortress, soaring higher than any other plane and boasting a speed comparable to that of an F-16 fighter jet. Its ability to transform into a secure bunker in the event of a nuclear attack makes it the epitome of unshakable strength. Join us as we delve into the incredible capabilities and unparalleled security of Air Force One. So, let's embark on this thrilling journey now! Air Force One is the special airplane that carries the President of the United States. Whether it's for short trips or long journeys across the globe, the term Air Force One refers to any plane the President uses. But it has become most closely associated with the Boeing 747-200B aircraft over the years. Air Force One consists of two custom-made aircraft, specifically designed by Boeing and upgraded by the U.S. military. These extraordinary planes are far from standard commercial aircraft. In fact, their operating costs amount to over $206,000 per hour. With a staggering height of 6 stories and a length of 76 meters, they surpass the size of any regular commercial jet. Weighing a massive 378,000 kilos each, they possess remarkable strength. These impressive aircraft can reach a maximum altitude of 45,100 feet, making them capable of soaring high above the clouds. Their official Air Force designation is VC-25, while their tail numbers are 28000 and 29000, adding to their unique identity. Inside the Air Force One, there is an impressive floor plan that spans across three decks, offering a total of 4,000 square feet of floor space. The upper deck serves as a state-of-the-art telecommunication center, functioning as a mobile command center with advanced technology. On the lower deck, you'll find a cargo hold equipped with a self-contained baggage handling system. However, it is the middle deck where the real action takes place. Towards the front, there is a serene area known as the Presidential Suite, which houses the Presidential Office and a private bedroom featuring its own shower. Notably, the President's personal quarters are distinguished by a star-patterned carpet on the floor. Just outside this area, there is a dedicated space for the Secret Service followed by the Situation Room. It's interesting to note that white phones are used for unclassified calls, while beige phones are reserved for secure lines. Moving forward, there are accommodations for up to 70 passengers, along with work areas, a conference room, a dining room, and two kitchens. But that's not all. Air Force One always ensures the presence of a doctor on board, equipped with an operating room that houses the latest medical equipment. Additionally, there is a supply of the President's blood type and special vaccinations, prepared in case of emergencies. Air Force One is housed in a highly secure hangar at Joint Base Andrews, located near Washington, D.C. This base is protected by military checkpoints and features two additional layers of fencing within its boundaries. Interestingly, the military considers Air Force One to be safer in the sky than on the ground. So, what makes it a flying fortress? To begin with, it can cover an impressive distance of 14,315 kilometers in a single journey. Moreover, with the ability to be refueled mid-air, Air Force One can remain airborne for extended periods. Almost indefinitely, it boasts a top speed of 965 kilometers per hour, which is so fast that during the events of 9-11, an F-16 pilot escorting Air Force One had to accelerate to catch up with it. The aircraft undergoes extensive military modifications, making it resilient enough to serve as an airborne bunker. Its defenses are designed to counter air-to-air -air and ground-to-air missiles, as well as potential drone attacks. The body of the aircraft is reinforced with armor plating, and the windows are also made from bullet-resistant glass. Each exit is equipped with its own retractable staircase to prevent sabotage once the plane is on the ground. The defense systems of Air Force One include radar jammers to disrupt enemy radar, flares to divert heat-seeking missiles, protection against electromagnetic pulses, and numerous other classified features. It's safe to say that the specific details of its defense capabilities remain top secret, highlighting the extraordinary security measures implemented to safeguard the President and the aircraft. 
every flight of Air Force One, whether it's a short trip to New York or long-haul journey around the world, is treated as a meticulously planned mission. Every detail is carefully considered, including alternative taxiing routes to account for any possible disruptions. During the flight, Air Force One maintains its own designated airspace and non-presidential aircraft must maintain a distance of 3 nautical miles or approximately 5.5 kilometers from it. Prior to international trips, multiple aircraft, including helicopters and other security services, take off earlier. Among them is the C-17 Globemaster, carrying the presidential motorcade and the iconic Beast limousine. Trailing behind Air Force One is the Doomsday Plane, an EV-4 Advanced Airborne Command Post. Only four of these planes exist, and they serve as airborne nuclear bunkers and war rooms in the event of nuclear emergencies. Here's an astonishing fact. Air Force One being incredibly secure does not require a fighter jet escort. In reality, it only receives such an escort during crisis like the events of 9-11 or when it's putting on a media spectacle. Additionally, you will never find Air Force One landing at a regular civilian airport anywhere in the world. Instead, it exclusively lands at highly secure bases, predominantly military in nature. Weeks before the president's arrival, a team comprising members from the U.S. military, Secret Service, and White House thoroughly assesses the chosen airport and coordinates with the authorities. As part of the preparations, air traffic control is instructed to redirect any flights scheduled to arrive around the same time. This measure may even affect flights at nearby airports. Air Force One is skillfully maintained and operated by the Presidential Airlift Group, where the pilots and crew members receive their training. The crew includes two pilots, a navigator, and an engine who work together in the cockpit. In addition to their hospitality duties, the crew and pilots devote extensive hours to training for various what-if scenarios alongside the Secret Service. The presidential pilots, who came from the U.S. Air Force, undergo specialized training in evasive maneuvers in case of a rare attack. Interestingly, the evasive maneuvers were actually employed once during President Nixon's visit to Syria in 1974. Although the Syrian government had sent four MIG aircraft to welcome and escort Air Force One to the base, the message did not reach the crew. Consequently, the presidential pilot, fearing an attack, took swift action, including a steep dive to ensure the safety of the aircraft. These highly and well-trained crew members are an integral part of the operation of Air Force One, ensuring the security and smooth operation of the presidential aircraft. The current Air Force One, the 747-200B, has been serving the president since 1990, but its time is coming to an end. In 2018, Boeing was awarded a contract worth $3.9 billion to build two new 747-8 aircraft. Originally planned for delivery in 2024, unforeseen delays and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic have pushed the timeline to 2026 to 2027. According to Boeing, these new Air Force One planes are being equipped with state-of-the-art features that surpass the capabilities of their predecessors. Upgrades will include advanced military-grade avionics, cutting-edge communication systems, and enhanced self-defense mechanisms. As for other exciting luxury and military features, we invite you to share your guesses and thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to Superstructures for more intriguing content.